Hello everyone, and welcome back to Equinox, where we are going to be yanking out so much grass. Get out of here, grass. Oh my goodness. <laughs> But welcome back to Equinox, where we are trying very hard to breed up some beautiful roses. And I have got a little bit of a lead on how to make those tropical seaweeds that we were thinking about, so that we can have a beautiful tropical ocean start up pretty soon. And the answer is that we should definitely continue to try to evolve every single plant and animal that we can, because eventually we will unlock a very special type of grass that will actually help us to create a more tropical biome. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and try to continue to breed anything that we can, which means getting rid of all of these grass tufts. Oh my goodness, all of you get out of here! And trying to turn this area into more of... Oh, population density is so high! Into more of a woodland, which we have just managed to do as that one dies. Oh my goodness. Uh, is this a woodland? Not really. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this beautiful tulip. We're gonna plunk it right there, and then we're gonna hurry. Oh no, did I miss it? Oh, we're so close. It's a wrestle between the grasslands. We need to get the, all of the grass that we can find. We need to get rid of it like right now. So let's try to find every little piece of grass and we are going to just yank it right out of the ground. There we go. Nice. All right, there we go. And we're going to pull it away from being anywhere near our little woodland that we are trying to spread. But look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. I really love it. We have, oh, this is an intense woodland. What am I trying to do? We have plenty of woodland over here, maybe because of those sycamore trees. Uh, so let, there, yes. All right, we are now trying to breed for roses, which I am very excited about. And look at how lovely this area has become. I know we still have unhappy boars. In fact, we're down to just two again. We have not had six happy boars just yet, but I think that we're going to start seeing a little bit of flourishing. They're also bigger than usual. That's interesting. They're naturally uh, veering towards becoming very large boars. But these guys really love cedar trees, and I haven't yet found a cedar tree. So perhaps today is the time to slow down and see if we can turn one of these cedar tree or one of these tall trees into a cedar tree. Oh no, my little flower dog. Oh, that's terrible. All right, let's hurry and try to get more of our beautiful tulips over here. There we go. And let us carry on the evolving. Wonderful. But if we want to create a cedar tree, we actually need some heather. And we don't have any heather just yet. So to get heather, do I need to evolve a grass tuft? or a wild mint perhaps, possibly. Also, all of this grass needs to back off because this is supposed to become a beautiful forest. There we go. And we actually got the apple a day again, which is pretty exciting because that means that we have actually got, as I grab this and this, get out of here, get out of here grass tufts. That means that we have a lot of happy apple trees. Oh, and look, this apple tree, I think, spread down here all on its own. That's so exciting. Wow. Oh, and there we have some more grass trying to come in. It's actually not as difficult as I feared it would be to really start pulling up the grass and removing it and getting it away. Oh no, my rose plant, my future rose plant died again. We'll go over and tend to that in just a second but I think I can actually get rid of all the grass over here and we can start spreading a bunch of the rosemary and some of the other plants instead. So let's grab some rosemary because the rosemary does help to make this area nice and vibrant and green, uh, or at least like it, its version of green. All right, that should definitely help out. And let's come back over and see, this little one should probably be okay. This beautiful tulip, there we go. Cause it's so happy in this little woodland right here and I can't blame it. Look at how lovely this is with all of the mix of trees. I think the sycamores in particular tend to be pretty happy, but they really wanna be in like woodland and forest. Yeah, they should be happy. Why are you not very happy, my friend? Oh, it's actually getting kind of dense with trees now. That's so cool. But all right, so we're working on getting roses. And what other tasks do we have right now? 
The red maples! How could I have forgotten that's what we were working on? Because the red maples will actually unlock the tomato plant! And who knows what that is going to lead for us. So let's pluck out these grasses to make sure they don't encroach too closely to our wonderful forest. Back off, back off. There you go. Nope, get out of here. I saw you. Uh, oh my goodness, the grass really is trying to spread down there too. Well, given an inch, there we go. It'll probably do it. But all right, so we do have a few of the red birch trees over here that we can start turning into red maple trees. So that will carry that little task out. Oh, are we almost there on the roses? <gasps> you guys, I think we almost have rose, like red roses coming from these beautiful red tulips. Yes! We have successfully evolved a very first rose. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, and it's growing so quickly. Look at how happy it is. It is a tier three flower that, don't you dare eat it, Boar, <laughs> that likes to be in grassland and forest and woodland. A single beautiful rose. Roses usually grow in small bushes, but not this one. This delightful flower can grow happily in different biomes. Yay, all right, so we have got roses now. That is gonna be so fun. I actually want to have a whole bunch of them come down from this side. I can't wait until we can unlock more of the animals, but it takes a little bit of effort to do that for sure. Oh, wow. We just like leapt right up to a huge tier, uh, a tier th three item. So there we go. Hopefully our roses will continue to spread happily. There we are. The trees are growing. The sycamores are becoming taller than the oaks. We've got red birch trees spreading all over the place here. This is one very happy birch. It is just boom, spreading all of its pieces everywhere. This apple tree is miserable. Interesting. It really wants to be in a forest area. Why are you dying? Population density, liked species because it, it's not in a suitable biome. So you don't like grasslands whatsoever, do you? Interesting. So yeah, I just don't think that this little one is gonna make it. So we'll just have to let that apple tree die off, unfortunately. Uh, wow, this is so fun. Look at all of this. I wanna spread more plants. I wanna spread more, let's go for rosemary and buttercup along this direction. And then let's get some buttercups over here. And maybe we'll evolve their colors or like selectively breed their colors later. Uh, and what does the elm tree wanna do? Elm tree is a woodland plant. A small basic woodland tree which birds like to perch on helps to increase the fertility of woodland biomes. Oh, that's so cool. I don't think I put down too many elms. So let's get a few elms down. There we go. And then let's make it morning and just watch as everything spreads. A species has evolved, yes. Oh, there's our little maple. Are you happy there? Is that good enough for you? What do we need to offer you, little red maple? Uh, it likes grassland, so we might want to move it because I don't think this is very grasslandy. Let's move it up a little bit. I should have put it over here. Now it's going to be a little bit of an arm and a leg, but that should make it... Oh, look at that. Now our red maple is happy, and with happy red maple should shortly come completing that task and unlocking tomatoes! Oh, which is just so exciting. And how's this little forest spreading? Oh, the buttercups just took off. Look at that. The buttercups are so happy. And you can see how the elm trees really, really increase that woodland. I'm gonna have to remember that. Look at that. Oh, look at the baby sheep. They're just frolicking with their mom and they're just so happy. I have a little baby boar. I still don't have happy boars, but we're working on it. Oh, this is so pretty. All right, let's see, how can I, and those boars want to become happy with a cedar tree. And cedar tree said, don't talk to me until I have some heather nearby. And to get heather, we're probably going to need to do a little bit of finagling with more evolution. So what can I do with rosemary? I can turn it into heather. If we have rocks and stones and fallen fruit nearby, that is so cool. Okay, so let's put down a couple rocks. Uh, Cause that's actually a good thing to do. And then a whole bunch of little stones. That'll be nice. There we go, little rocks and stones. Maybe I can spread a few of those kind of naturally just down here. 
down to the... There we go, I like that. To make it just look like maybe there was a glacier that came through and left behind a bunch of stones. Because I think that's important to just like have a little bit of variation in how things look too. And now we can come over and start breeding Heather. Nice! And I would actually love to get a fern. So we need dark green rosemary and larger rosemary to make that happen. So what's the biggest rosemary we've got nearby? Oh, this is a big one! What? Wow! But it needs to be much bigger. So let's find a young, large patch of rosemary. Here's a 1.04. Hmm. 1.2, 1.4, that's youngest. I think this is the youngest one we've seen yet. So let's selectively breed for very large rosemary. Oof, oof. I think we need to wait just a second. There we go. And hopefully we can get some really, really big rosemary. So we'll come back and try to find a big rosemary in a minute here. All right, how are my maples doing? My red maple is doing okay. We need more, uh, we need more, uh, evolution paused. Who died? Oh, was it my Heather? I think it was my, my Heather plant. It's almost done though. Yay, all right, now we have some Heather. Let's just plunk it down right here for a second. It wants to be in a forest or a woodland. This is a woodland. Why are you so unhappy? Uh, oh, it's altitude is poor. Does it want to be really high up? I bet it wants to be really high up. No, it wants to be really low. Okay, let's quickly move it, move it, move it. Transplant. Uh, I think it'll go lower here. Is that better? Much better. So the Heather wanted to be at a much lower altitude. And we can turn it into barley if it has three, four. There's three forest trees nearby if you ask me. Right? This is a forest tree. Pretty sure. All right, there we go. Let's speed things up for just a minute to let the heather become happier. I could have sworn these are like three forest trees. I guess it needs, um, oh, like these guys maybe. Maybe it needs tall trees nearby. All right, and for the tall tree to be happy and evolve into a cedar. Oh, we already have three species. Oh, wow, look at that. We already have three species of heather. The heather just took off and the rose is right there. Oh, it's so pretty. Wow, I really hope our roses spread. We have a couple roses, look at that. This is so pretty, oh my gosh. We are making something quite lovely. Uh, we need to make a bigger tree. So we actually need to have, this guy's like, oh, I'm really getting crowded out here. But in order to make the cedar tree, we need to have much, much larger. Oh my gosh, like much significantly larger. Uh, how high can we go? We'll start there and hopefully that little one will give us some children in the future. Uh, and speaking of larger plants, we have a 1.10 size rosemary here. So we've got enough size on this one. And here's a baby version of it that's not happy. So we'll ignore that. Uh, here's an even bigger version that's about to die, unfortunately. Are you really not gonna make it little one? Cause you're in the wrong biome? Altitude factor. Here, we're gonna scoot you up. Because I need you to live. Much better. And now we're gonna work on the fern by trying to get dark green on this rosemary. Which is gonna be, there we go, 5,000 discovery points. Okay. Phew! That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Alright, we have a lot going on. How are our red maple trees? Happy? Look at this. Wow, those tall cedars really were willing to spread if we gave them a chance. And now this one is going on to hopefully have some very tall children. Nope, that's just a small guy. But we have the heather spreading wherever it can too. How are the roses that I put down over here? Did they make it? I see one rose, two rows, a rose Mary. I'll take that. Oh, and here's a rose right over here too. Oh, that's so pretty. All right, let's see. I'm going to put down the wild mint is kind of grassland and tropical is the suitable biome, but it does not make a tropical biome, unfortunately. It spreads in grassland biome. Hmm. Noted. Uh, all right. What do we have happening? Got the apple a day. 
Do we have, is this, oh, this looks like dark green rosemary to me. Nice, yes, this one can become a fern. We are really working on things now. Fantastic. Well, all right, guys, we have got, look at this. I mean, look at how beautiful this is. Let's make it full daylight really quickly. We may not have very many happy boars, but we have just evolved a fern, which I'm very excited about. It's a very, very happy fern. We can change it to uh, all sorts of beautiful colors. I really like the dark green though. That's definitely one of my favorites. Maybe I can make it huge, just focus on making giant ferns. But look at how complex our little woodland has become. We have got apples fallen all over the place. In the distance, you can see the beautiful red birch trees. We've got brown sheep and boars. I love this. And I love the other areas we have too. Like how are our chickens? I would love to have just a flock of golden chickens. What We're on generation 22. <laughs> generation 22 on the chickens. I kind of feel like I should help them spread a little bit more by putting down some stones and maybe getting some of that huge wheat that we've got. We should have the giganto wheat that I've been growing over here. You're getting smaller. No, 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 no. You're supposed to be huge wheat, like huge, huge, huge. Uh, do we have any any big ones? We've got a few big ones, but I want to see like the giant wheat come back. It seems that we've got tiny, tiny baby wheat, and what we really want is giant wheat. But I'll work on that, um, and we'll come over here. How did our fish play out? It looks like we still have pink trout. The little purple trout that popped up that I fell in love with so much uh, disappeared, unfortunately. No, wait, they came over here. Yes. All right, we have the purple trout up here. The pink trout stayed down here. And actually, these guys are like just normal gray trout. Wow. So we've got like three species of trout over there. That is so fun. We need to get more wheat spreading, but it likes to spread in grassland biome. So I need to get some grass put down over here to make the wheat spread further. And it's all coming together. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. We still have more to do. Look at how beautiful everything is. I am so in love with it. If you would like to pick yourself a beautiful rose or a heather flower, then do please leave a like. And if you would like to join us for this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.